Good morning, boys and girls, and good afternoon, good evening, and good night. If you have any idea what time it is, it is 11.19 here. So, let's see what challenges we have tonight. Okay, so weekly challenges are a pit speed and a Murphy distance. Right, so I don't have any intention of playing either of them, although both of the daily challenges look quite playable. So, we're going to start off with the daily challenge. First up for tonight, it's Land of the Livid Dead and we're collecting lums. 38, um, no, um, okay, 32.24 for the Silver Cup, but I think we can probably get better than that. 28.45 for the Gold Cup, or 24 seconds exactly for the Diamond Cup. So we need to be in the top three to get the Diamond, and we need to be Nick. Jeez, well, um, however you pronounce that name, Quebecsvibu is just way ahead of everyone in a league of his own there. He probably played with more than one controller, or more than one person played. Oh yes, I can I can see how playing with uh, two controllers, or even even maybe three controllers, is really going to be beneficial in a challenge like this one. Okay, this looks like a um quite a tricky one, I think. But first time through, just an exploratory run. See what there is. All oh, right, this is a tough one. It just looks like a tough one. Uh, my path has been all over the place. And I don't think we even got a silver cup. You absolute muppet getting a bronze cup and publishing it on YouTube. Okay, so obviously we can do a lot better than that. But that was just an exploratory run. How can I do better there? It just seems like if you go too fast, you end up missing all the lums. So that's why I'm never sure how to actually go fast, but still collect all the lums. Whereas I think that's the difference between me and the players who actually do get in the top three and get diamond. Okay, 27.99, so that is enough for the gold cup. But I think, oh yeah, okay, that is a terrible rank, so we can definitely improve by at least a second. I think we can probably improve by two seconds. It feels like we probably can, but uh, sometimes the game surprises me. Well, I don't suppose it's the game. I suppose it's more how I play. Okay, so if I go too fast there, I have no chance of collecting the lums. Ah! Yeah, um, it's possible to go really, really fast. Uh, it's possible to do really fast brake boosts in the wind. But the problem is, is that if you do it, you just end up missing all the lums, so it doesn't actually work. Oh, okay, I missed one. Well, oh, this run doesn't feel good. Oh, okay, well, it was very, very slow. And then to miss a set of lums on top of that is the end of the run. Well, come on, why is it going so slowly? Okay, that's a tricky part there. I'm just going to try and get the right speed while collecting all the lums. It's really difficult. Oh, okay, that did not quite go as bad. Oh, well, it's only one, I guess, or two lums, because it's one that I didn't collect at all. Oh, no! Oh, no, 28.34. We could definitely have done a lot better than that. We made a mistake right at the end. Okay, we can do better than that. ground pounding before that about well, 30 second if I get lum 32 
Wow. Okay, we made a mistake at the end and we still beat our time. I think actually that last set we can probably just collect it as yellow because I only I didn't really need him very much like right at the end there. So I think that I need to figure out uh, which sets are really slow and probably which sets are just not worth the time to actually bother collecting. Oh goodness. I wonder if that set there... No, I think if I miss the whole set, that will probably just cost too much. No, let's not do that. Let's collect it as normal. Oh no! <laughs> oh, if, yeah, I, I thought that would work and it didn't work. Alright, let's try again. Oh, I thought I was taking a shortcut that worked and it didn't. Whoa! Okay, I've never managed to do that before and I don't think I could do that again if I tried. I don't know what happened there. Done it again! What am I doing? Oh dear, I don't think that was good. Well, let's continue anyway. Oh! Okay, I did not want to do that. Definitely not. Oh, I don't think that was a very good run anyway. Whoa! Okay, I nearly collected everything despite all that speed. Oh! Okay, I didn't know you could go that fast and still actually have a chance of collecting the lums. Okay, I don't think I needed to ground pound there. That did not help my time at all. Oh, I've done it again! And have I actually still collected everything? Okay, I don't know if this one is... Come on! Why can I not get a sensible run tonight, boys and girls? I, d I don't feel like I've had a run that's actually been sensible yet, but knowing that I can go so fast does actually help, uh, and that increases the chance that I will get a good time. Because I, I didn't think that was possible, but now I know it is. I can... Okay, I guess I just have to be really precise with the timing. Oh. oh dear. This is definitely harder than the average Land Lums challenge. Definitely. Oh no. Oh, I keep getting 28 seconds, but every single run has just been really, really bad, and I know I can do better. I just haven't actually had a run that I feel like... I just haven't had the kind of run that I feel like I'm capable of getting. There we go! 26.30! Ah, that was far better than anything else we've got so far. And it puts us in 17th. Finally, we actually get something sensible. Okay, that took a bit longer than it should have done. Alright, let's give that one more go. We'll try just try and get one more sensible run on that. Uh, see if we can get anything better. Give it get two sensible runs. See if the second one is any better than the first. And if it isn't, we'll probably move on to the next challenge. There we go, 26.04. Oh, we really two hundredths of a second away from Gase Coin. Oh, that is close. Oh, 
can't leave it that close, can we? All right. You know what? We'll get a third sensible run in that case. Just because we're so close to Gaze Coin. We've got to get on the other side and actually beat him. Oh, that definitely wasn't very good. That was not good at all. No. Okay, that's not a sensible run at all. Neither is that. How can I miss that? I just don't know. It just felt really, really slow anyway. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. I messed up that, that part last time as well. If only I jumped a little bit later, that's all I need to do. Okay, I don't know why I'm messing up at that part now, but I wasn't doing that before. Why have I suddenly started doing it now? That's more like it. That's not more like it! <laughs> oh, you serious? Oh, I know I can do it. I know I can beat Gase Coin. That is really all I'm trying to do now. Okay, we're just really optimizing our time tonight. Okay, I think we're getting to that point where I'm starting to play worse rather than better. Usually after about, I don't know how long, 15 minutes of playing a challenge. That always seems to happen for some reason. Okay, we're starting to make mistakes that we weren't making before, which is never a good sign. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I think we know what we need to do in order to beat Case Queen's score. It doesn't look like it's quite happened yet, I and mean, it just seems like too many silly mistakes are happening. But still, it's a reasonable score, and it is quite a solid gold cup. And I think if we continue that any longer, I just feel like there'll be a lot of silly mistakes, and the video will drag on for far too long. I'm sure I can improve my score just by. A little bit. I can probably get less than 25.80 and I'll, I'll probably continue working on that a bit after the video but if I continue any longer I think yeah I think the video will be a bit too long so 
and, and of course I think the improvement will be quite minimal so if I do improve I will let you all know tomorrow well or in the next Rayman video uh, but yeah it just won't happen on video but I think we know what I need to do at least so there we go 2604 for now we're gonna move on to the extreme challenge well 307.7 kilometers yes yeah, sure you weren't using the Murphy reset glitch in a pit distance I don't even know what the weekly challenge was anyway I'm guessing it was pit distance so the challenge that we're about to play is an infinite tower and it's a speed run to the top 4228 for the gold or 2942 for the diamond oh right and even Nick hasn't been able to get the diamond okay well I, I don't think we're going to in that case so ML Craffit was the target in the last tower speed we played so I'm gonna guess that ML Craffit will be a good target in this one as well I usually do a bit better in the tower speeds than, oh goodness, uh, than in the Land Lums challenges. Okay, I think this is a, this is another difficult challenge actually. It's definitely harder than the one that we played, well we played a tower speed quite recently and this is definitely noticeably harder. Oh goodness! This is a nightmare of a challenge, actually. Alright, 3798. Well, that was a very easy gold cup. And let's see what our rank is. Wow, I actually get into the top 10 on the first run. Well, I think that just shows how much better I am at tower speeds than land lums challenges. I don't know why I'm so bad at them. I don't know what it is. How I can effortlessly get top 10 in an infinite tower challenge. And yet, really struggle to in a... Oh, in a land lums challenge I, I don't know what makes the difference but I don't think that was especially that was definitely not my best in the last challenge I've definitely done better than that before ok I can hardly even remember actually how to pull off the trick where you ground pound under the bumper Yeah, this challenge is a nightmare. There's not even that many shortcuts, to be honest, other than those two blue hands. No, oh, that didn't work. That did not work at all. I don't know if there's a quicker way up there. I don't think there is. Okay, can I pull that trick off twice in one run? Well, probably after a lot of attempts I can. Oh, that's going to be tough. It's always difficult to ground pound that second bumper. But it saves time and I, I want to do it. So I know that there is a way where if you do a like an upwards angled dash behind that bumper that you can actually ground pound under it with quite good consistency I still find it very difficult to go the right way on the blue hand because I find it difficult to jump off the pillar in time Basically, this challenge is a nightmare. I mean, oh, goodness. How am I going to do that? How, how am I going to jump from the chain onto the platform and then get under the bumper? That's going to be a nightmare. That is going to be horrendous. You know what? Let's just have a run. Well, to be honest, there's not really any... There's not really much to this challenge. It's basically... This challenge is basically nothing but a test of how you handle those blue hands and unfortunately in the Midnight Woods case it's very badly but this is really all this challenge is there's literally nothing else to this challenge yeah, like if I do an angled dash from there what if I just jump and don't even bother ground pounding under the bumper. Will that get the job done? Oh, we can try it. It's slower, but if it gets the job done, then... And I can't think of any other 
sensible way of doing it, then why not? I think I have seen worse towers than this. Or at least there's no vine boosts necessary. Oh, those ones are always a pain. Okay, I did not mean to do that. That did not go as planned. Oh, um... Oh, what do I do here? So, if I ground pound over it, I don't even get to the edge. But I don't know how I'm going to... What if I do a YBY underneath it? Will that work? That's going to be a pain. That is going to be a right pain to pull off, though. Mistimed it. Oh no! Okay, that, that was a YBY gone horribly wrong. I'm not even sure if it does work, to be honest. I feel like I've got the hang of the first blue hand, actually. It's the second one. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. do here actually I've got an idea it's not an idea that the elite players of this game are going to approve of but it's an idea that will get the job done but I don't think you can do an angled dash on the platform you know what, actually no, before we try my very last idea, let's give it one more go with the angled dash. If we can even get there, that is. Give it one last go. Even though I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Oh, you mop it! No, the angled dash definitely doesn't work. Alright, I'm going to try my very, very last idea. See if it works. See if it gets the challenge done. And if it does, then I guess we can be happy with what we get. that was not actually what I planned and actually I've just thought of a, another idea but okay that that was not at all what I had in mind all right let's try the, the actual last idea well, that is just such a pain that one
That's what I had in mind. We just do it the long way. 34.96 and that puts me... Oh, do I even want to look? Fifth. Oh, two seconds behind Crafit. And I, I feel like the only way I'm going to actually beat him is, is if I pull off the trick with that blue hand. Oh dear. Well, I don't know how to do that, unfortunately. I don't know if I even ever did in the past. I know I've always had problems with that obstacle. Well, tough challenges actually we've had today. I found both challenges were really difficult to actually get a good score on. And yeah, I, I feel like I could do better on both of them, but they were difficult challenges today. Oh well, we've got two gold cups and we got top five currently in the tower. Not quite as good as I did in the last one, but I guess everybody has challenges that may be more suited towards their style of play or less. And I guess unfortunately today's didn't really suit me too well, it seems. I mean, they weren't bad, but they certainly weren't the best. But it is what it is, as Ethel always used to say. So that is both challenges done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again shortly.